A high-rise tower block, once dilapidated and plagued by drug addicts, has been given a multi-million pound facelift. It's one of hundreds that were built as part of 1960s regeneration schemes, but like many, it had become a virtual no-go area. In Coventry, most of the city centre blocks have been demolished, but the decision was taken to save a handful. And now tenants are queuing up to move in. Andy Bevan has the story. The sun hadn't really shone on Thomas King House for a good few years, but now it was making amends. Perfect timing then to mark the block's new lease of life. All 128 flats in this 16-storey giant have been refurbished by landlords Whitefriars Housing. There's even a brand new garden area complete with seating and sculptures. There were many, many vacancies. People came and went fairly frequently. Uh, now we have no vacancies at all. The Coventry Blitz of November 1940 gave planners the chance to rebuild and modernise. In the early 1960s, many of the old back-to-backs that still stood after the bombing were pulled down with residents living in caravans while their new homes went up. And up was the way forward, with tower blocks changing the skyline of the city, especially in the Hill Fields area. High-rise homes were the height of modern living, even plauded in a film featurette narrated by radio DJ Pete Murray. A phoenix risen from the ashes. They can send me to Coventry any time. But by the 1980s, many of the blocks, with their poor security and bleak interiors, became a nightmare for residents and a haven for drug users from the outside. The access to their flat was very easy. So there were people who used to come, drug addicts, people used to drink beer uh, on the steps. Now a £3.5 million refurb has brought a replacement roof, double glazing to every window, balcony separators for better privacy and a newly decorated lobby. But by far the biggest improvement here is in security. Every resident now has one of these key fobs which makes sure that they get in and others don't. For the first time, the Munadawafa family who've lived here for six years are warm, safe and can enjoy a garden. It is a different world. You can see even the environment itself. As you look at it, it's a very clean, neat place. It never used to be like that. Belle Dillon, who found herself homeless, was apprehensive when she was offered a 12th floor flat here. But once she saw the brand new kitchen, bathroom and central heating, she was a Thomas King convert. And with a corner balcony looking out over miles of her home city, who wouldn't be? I was just looking for a roof over my head and somewhere to settle and to carry on with my goals in life. And it's made me feel comfortable and settled and secure in order to do that. So I was very lucky. And you've got the most fantastic view. Again, someone up there is looking after me. Whitefriars are now planning more refurbishments for more properties in Coventry, turning what used to be some of the worst places to live into some of the best. Andy Bevan, Central Tonight.